In this paper, we report updated interim data from the observational GeoTag study. Hello, my name is Maximilian Hochmeier. I am from the Otto Wagner Hospital and I'm a medical pulmonologist and I'm the lead author of the GeoTag trial. Five EGFR TKIs are now widely available for the treatment of EGFR mutation positive non small cell lung cancer. First generation reversible agents erlotinib and gefitinib, the second generation irreversible ERP family blockers afatinib and dacomitinib, and the third generation irreversible wide type sparing EGFR TKI osimertinib. Second and third generation TKIs confirm superior progression of free survival versus first generation TKIs. However, no head-to-head -head data are available comparing second and third generation agents. It remains unclear which TKI or which sequence of TKIs maximize overall survival at the most important measure of treatment efficacy. In the study, we wanted to explore whether there is an argument for reserving osimertinib for second-line use Osimertinib offers impressive efficacy and tolerability in first-line setting. However, it is also highly active as second-line treatment in patients with T790M positive tumors. We hypothesized the sequential afatinib followed by osimertinib could provide promising clinical benefit in the majority of patients based on the number of factors. We and others have demonstrated that around 60 till 75% of tumors treated with afatinib acquire T790M mutation and seems especially prevalent in tumors with division 19 activating mutations, where it develops in up to 75% of the cases. Therefore, the majority of patients treated with afatinib will eligible for subsequent osimertinib. There are no standard targeted treatments available following failure of osimertinib, reflecting the heterogeneity of the resistance mechanism. Therefore, sequential afatinib and osimertinib could provide a net increase in the duration of chemotherapy-free treatment and perhaps OS compared with first-line osimertinib. Although afatinib is probably associated with more frequent adverse events than osimertinib, they are generally manageable with supportive care and dose adjustment. In GeoTag, we reviewed the medical records of 203 patients treated with first-line afatinib who developed T790M mutation and went to receive second-line osimertinib. The study included patients who are often excluded from clinical trials. For example, 15% had an ECOG PS status of 2 or more and 10% had stable brain metastasis. Patients with predominantly Caucasian but also included Asian patients and African Americans. The analysis was limited to patients with common activating EGFR mutations like deletion 19 and a 5 r Data were collected from two different sources. The majority of data, 62%, came from electronic health records. These are the data that has been updated for the current report. 38% of data were retrieved directly from sites via manual medical chart review. These data will be updated in 2020 and a final analysis will be taken. In the original analysis of GeoTag, median time to treatment failure, which was the primary endpoint of the study, was over two years. The results were particularly encouraging in patients with a deletion 19 activating mutations at 30.3 months and in Asian patients 46.7 months at the time of the original analysis OS was immature. In the updated analysis, median OS was almost 3.5 years, the probability of surviving for at least 2 years was 80%. Median AOS was almost 4 years in patients with deletion 19 positive tumors. OS analysis in patient subgroups such as Asians was not possible as data were still immature. All data, updated data for this report came from OSA. However, subgroup data will be available at the time of the final analysis. 
updated TTR time to treatment failure for sequential afatinib and osimertinib was 28.1 months overall and 30.6 months in patients with deletion 19 positive tumors. Median TTF time to treatment failure on osimertinib was 15.6 months overall and 16.4 months in patients with deletion 19 positive tumors. These findings suggest that the activity of osimertinib may not be substantially diminished if used in second-line setting. In summary, these updated findings suggest that sequential afatinib and osimertinib is a viable and effective treatment regimen in patients with EGFR mutation positive non-small cell lung cancer. However, there are a number of caveats when considering such as approaches firstly, a sequential approach probably requires improvements um, in the access to and sensitivity of t 790 m mutation detection assays. Secondly, approximately 30 to 40 percent of patients treated with first-line afatinib will progress due to t 790 m independent mechanism and will therefore be ineligible for subsequent osimertinib. Thirdly, not all patients who receive first-line afatinib will be deemed fit enough to receive subsequent therapy. To conclude, sequential afatinib and osimertinib may be an option to provide prolonged chemotherapy-free treatment in patients with EGFR mutation-positive non-small cell lung cancer. This approach is worthy to be consideration in standard clinical practice.